right i'm trying to keep this simple so i've just first time i've come up here so we're just like sort of on the bottom of um crook hill and we've got the lady bower reservoir just over here you can see the sky now is starting to go a little bit pink i've just set up here just right in front of this gate and this little signpost towards the left hand side of the frame um, and also um, the top of Bamford Edge is sort of to the higher right hand side of the frame so it's kind of creating this little zigzag through through the picture um, as you can see there's a slight reflection on the water now of um, the pink in the sky and there's a little opening so it's looking quite nice so I'm going to grab a couple of pictures now It's looking really nice i wasn't expecting too much this morning um but the pink the nice pinks are nice the sky's got kind of got this zigzag i don't know if that's really going to be in the frame at the minute uh, let's pull you down here a little bit so i'm just going to show you sort of what my eyes are seeing some from what angle kind of a nice easy little picture to set up because we've got the gate here um, at a slight angle this way and then this signpost well, let me just pop this where the camera is let's grab a couple of shots so where we're at at the minute so we've got this little zigzag coming across here and then that's bringing the light across the field this way and then you've got the um, the bridge just going across there and then you've got the other angle going up towards Bamford Edge at the top. And also the water kind of goes at an angle. So you've got a bit of a zigzag going off. And it's just kind of just a quick, simple shot. Um, I've seen this gate. I've seen pictures of this gate before. Because like I say, you walk through it, you turn around, you've got an absolutely beautiful view. So it's kind of an easy shot. But what I've decided to do, I've not put any filters on this uh, camera at the minute. So I've actually got a lens adapter um, that I specifically got for my Irix lens because it's um, a 95mm lens on the end and I was struggling to sort of get a polarizer system and filter system for the 100mm that I'd already got and I didn't want to spend a fortune buying new gear. So I bought this um, the lens adapter for the EOS R with the built-in filters um, to go in so i've got a polarizer filter in there so it was a lot easier to use a polarizer on a really wide angle on the irix it's uh, 15 mil wide on the irix so sunrise is at 7 41 today and i think we're about one sec it's 7 31 so we've got 10 minutes really but we have got a little bit of nice light up here already it's not exceptional or anything like that but it is nice i'm just snapping away at these pictures while i've got it right i am bracketing uh, two stops um and i'm not using any filters there's a lot of dark areas going um around where the trees are and then there's a hell of a lot of light up the top here now i was going to use um, a grad filter but to be fair sometimes they can cause a little bit more harm um, when you're editing can be hard to get like um, a nice line you can sometimes say like the top of these trees here could be really dark where um, the grad filter set here and then it goes across then this bit becomes really dark and then you go try and edit that to make it look a bit more um, subtle and a bit more genuine um, so sometimes it's best to just bracket and then play about with it after I'm gonna quickly show you the back of the camera and I'll show you the shot that um, we're actually getting Right, trying to get this without a reflection, which is ridiculously hard. Um, so I don't know if you can just see on here. This isn't great for filming. Right, so the back of the camera here, this is best I can get it. Um, you can just see we've got this little post here and the other post here and then the water running through up to the sky. You can't really make out what the sky looks like on there. A bit more on here. 
but there's some uh, a little bits of pinks and a nice blue and a uh, that's what we want a few breaks in the cloud the histogram is actually showing um it's just sort of like peeking over on the shadows it's also peeking over on the highlights to the right hand side of the histogram so this is kind of why i need to bracket because i'm underexposing and i'm overexposing on this frame so that's why i'm doing a bracket uh, two stop each side i'm just going to get everything all the information um in this shot that i can accumulate together and hopefully get a nice shot out of it A very weird one today because we keep getting this really nice light like right on the horizon this gorgeous light it is actually really nice it's just it, it's like i say it's not magnificent like where you go oh my god or oh, wow they're the days that we always hope for um but it is yeah there's, there's some nice uh there's some nice colours coming through. So every time I take another shot or turn around and have a look, it's it's a totally different picture. So you've still got the same, um, you've still got the same gay and the same zigzag going through, but you've got different reflections coming off the water. You've got different clouds and different bits of light coming through, and sometimes trees lighting up and foreground and things like that. So it's all about getting it, it the the perfect picture throughout um, or really what you like um, in a picture because it's not about ticking all them boxes if you like the picture or um, you do a picture and you send it to um, a family member or something like that they're going to appreciate that and you're going to appreciate the work you put into it or or e even just a quick snap um, can be just as beautiful so um, yeah it's uh, not a bad morning at all really i like the peace and quiet i'm i'm really one for for the being on my own and just taking it all in when i first met you i didn't know why you were so kind didn't know why you were not shy Wonder where you might be from but Now that I get you I see that it's just who you are I see the light in your heart It might as well be the sun You shine on everyone You're easy to love You're easy to love Everyone feels warm Ice cream, I scoop you up, and that's all because you're easy to love. You care about people at times even more than yourself. When someone's in need, then you help, but you don't make a big deal. Your thread and your needle. Stitch up a lot of torn hearts and you leave them better by Well I have to say the light got better. Let's see what time we're at now. So it's nine o'clock now. The light has still been really nice. It actually was better maybe 20 minutes ago. Um but I'd put all my stuff away and realised I'd not got my drone out, so I had a little fly of that. The light was really nice, but the drone doesn't really pick that up as well as my still photography so still really nice light but i think i'm gonna call it a day um it's been nice getting out i've got stuff on now so i'd love to go and do a little bit of like autumn trees and stuff like that but 
Um, I have got stuff on at home to do, so I'm going to make my way back, I think. Um, but thanks for coming along and joining me this morning. Uh, it's been really nice to get out. I don't even know where I'm going here. Kind of forgot where I walked up this morning. <laughs> Told you it was the first time I'd come up here. Um, I think we're back down this way. Yeah, we're back down this way. Uh, but yeah, thanks for coming and joining me this morning. And I really hope to get out and do some more photography. Some more photography videos, because this is actually what started my YouTube channel and I thoroughly enjoy doing the photography videos. So yeah, uh, fingers crossed we can get out a little bit more and do a few more videos so thank you very much for watching if you could please uh, subscribe like uh, on all my videos that you do watch if you like them um, any suggestions as to how to improve my videos or how to uh, anything to add really or things you'd like to see in a video um, I'd happily take it on board and then maybe we can try doing something different so, but until then, let's finish with a nice little scroll of this lovely scene and then we'll see you next time.